Hi guys, it's so good to be back. It's been a while. I didn't post anything last week or the week before because it was my birthday and it was such a busy week. But I'm just so happy to be back. I really missed you guys and I hope you missed me too. Today we're actually going to talk about some outfits as a transition between summer and fall. You know that time of the year that you're not sure about what to wear because it's not cold but it's also not hot anymore. So you're like, hmm, what do I wear? So we're not going to be talking about knits and jackets or heavy coats. It's just going to be like long sleeve shirts or pieces maybe that you pick from the summer and you just put a little lightweight jacket on and you're good to go. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give the thumbs up. If you're not connected with me on Instagram, it's Mila in New York and I would love to see you there. Just before we get started, I wanted to talk about the fall collection from Cezanne, which I'm so excited about. I think by the time this video goes live, I would probably have bought already a few pieces from the new collection because I'm recording one day before the release, the Saturday, the 27th. So I would love to hear from you guys which pieces you're thinking about getting. I would definitely update you all on my Instagram as soon as I purchase. So I'll let you know which ones I got. And yeah, let's get started. So that's the time of the year that again, it's not too hot, it's not too cold. I picked some of my favorite color palettes and fabrics that I think are really good for fall. And I'm actually going to start from a plaid jacket because I think for some reason it just brings all the vibe of fall and I think it's really cute. It brings a lot of interest to an outfit because of the, the fabric, like the style. I think the pattern is just so fall-like. And I actually did have one oversized shirt. I don't know what happened to it. It was an orange one, like rusty color, so pretty. I think I lost it maybe when we moved to this apartment and I couldn't find. So I ended up getting my, my guy's jacket. <laughs> it's actually like a shirt that I got from him because it fits me and I thought it would be a really nice outfit to, to show you guys. So it could be just, you know, it could wear as is, but you could also wear opened maybe with some summer top underneath, like a tank top. And of course, that works for a jacket as well. This is just a shirt, like a flannel shirt, which is so nice to the touch. It just feels like so cozy and nice. So yeah, that's definitely a very good option to have in your wardrobe. Now talking about fabric and, uh, you know, classic pieces, I wanted to talk about stripes. I think stripes are always a good option in for fall as well. I am wearing two Cezanne striped shirts here and the two of them are very similar. One is the Gatsby, Gatsby and the other one is the Gael, which I have no idea if I'm pronouncing correctly, but you guys will see and you know what I'm talking about. And I am pairing them with two suede shorts, the Robin shorts, which are the khaki ones, and the William shorts, which I got from the archives which are the brown ones. Both of them are really good. The green one, I actually have a full review, so I'll link below if you guys want to check that out. And this one fits true to size, while the William shorts definitely run large, so that, that's something to keep in mind. I think the combination is really so, so good because it is the perfect type of clothes for that time of the year. I'm talking about maybe almost the 70s, like between 60s and the 70s. Um, you don't quite need a jacket yet, maybe early, like begin of 60s, 62, 63, but then after that it starts to get a little warmer. And it's nice to have, you know, that fabric because it's long sleeves and you think it looks so cute all together. You could definitely wear those shorts when it gets cooler, maybe with tights underneath. I am not a fan of doing that. I just feel like when it gets colder, I prefer to wear pants, but that's very personal. But you could totally wear this with over the knee boots or, you know, suede boots. I think it would be really cute too. For me, I just like to wear them as I'm showing you guys. So let me know below what you think about these shorts, how you would style them. The next piece is a lightweight sweater. I think a lightweight sweater is definitely something we all have in, in our wardrobe. And that's the time of the year that we should wear them because they 
have that idea the vibe of fall but it's still you know they're not too hot they're not like screaming summer they're not like saying look it's winter it's something heavy and you know super cozy it's just so pretty and i pair this one which is the i think roma jumper with a leather skirt which is another staple and i think it's a beautiful piece to have during the fall you can easily wear this with tights or over the knee boots and i think it's just such a pretty outfit a leather skirt is just beautiful i love how i pair this one but you can definitely wear it with a coat or you can wear with tights underneath just you know for more warmth or to make sure that it's not showing too much if it's in a uh, concern but i think leather skirts are really beautiful they never go out of style same for uh, leather shorts leather skirts full leather as well if you are not you know a leather fan i still think the look is just perfect for fall and then the next outfit is also leather but this one is full leather and that one i don't know what you guys think because it's leggings and i know not everybody loves leggings but you guys i do i think leggings are just a great piece to have in your wardrobe because sometimes it's just so easy to simply put them on in an oversized uh, sweater or just a little jacket whatever you want and you're ready to go and these the spanx ones they're so so good i actually had to size up I had two sizes up because i'm normally a small us but i got this one in large petite i did that because if i got the large normal um it wouldn't likely be too long so i decided to go with the petite and the size was perfect so i got the large and i'm very happy with it i tried the medium before and it was way too tight i have that one in the green like olive color too which i love but it's so tight it's really uncomfortable so if you're planning to get them i'm actually linking below just make sure you size up one or two sizes to make sure it's comfortable i am pairing that with one of my favorite free people uh, sweaters this one is this slouchy tunic and i love that stuff this was so popular like crazy popular two or three years ago everybody was wearing that and i got into the trend and i got them i got into colors the gray and that one that's the ivory and i'm so happy i did because i love them <laughs> i wore them so so much because they cover you know everything you need and it still keeps you it's it's oversized but it keeps you really put together I think it's just so chic, like this turtle, turtleneck style. I really, really love it. Now the next one, talking about comfort and being, you know, like slouchy. A sweatshirt is next because we all need a sweatshirt. If you don't like going out with a sweatshirt, just get one so you can be home, cozy, have a coffee or tea. If you're not a coffee lover, I'm a coffee lover. So I chose the Cezanne sweatshirt because it is my favorite one. I love how this vintage vibe is with the colors. It's not quite white, it's like an off-white and it goes so well with the burgundy. That's another color I absolutely love for fall. I tend to wear mostly black, browns, greens, like khaki in burgundy like dark red i think it goes beautifully it just blends in with the season it's just amazing so i do have that sweatshirt in two colors the green and also the burgundy and i'm linking both below and also Suzanne has a few others now that i think are really really cute so sweatshirt definitely something for this transition especially if it's a little bit of a cooler day um a great piece to have when i go to the grocery store sweatshirt Want to go to the gym? Sweatshirt. Want to stay home? Sweatshirt. So sweatshirt is the way to go. Now the next piece is a jumpsuit. A long jumpsuit, long sleeves jumpsuit. We definitely wear lots of jumpsuits during the summer. But when it comes fall, it's kind of hard to wear those, you know, sleeveless or short ones because obviously it gets a little cooler. So I think this is the perfect moment to wear the long sleeves ones. And I'm wearing this one from H&M, which is a beautiful color. I think it's perfect for fall. Maybe you guys won't like it because it's a little bit masculine, but I love the look. And I think it looks so nice with the lace up boots. I would love to, to hear from you what you guys think. Uh, it's a look that I really like, so I haven't really tried yet, but I'm looking forward to styling this during the fall. Next is a blazer. You 
can go wrong with a blazer. It can be a fitted blazer, a boyfriend blazer, oversized blazer. Any kind of blazer is the way to go because it's something that will put everything together. And although I am styling here a light colored one, which I normally prefer for spring, I think that one is actually really good for fall as well because you can pair that with fall colors. You can wear something burgundy underneath. You can wear something khaki or browns. I think it would be so, so pretty. I'm also wearing a houndstooth blazer, which I hope you guys like. This one is one of my favorite blazers of all times. It's from Mango. I don't think it's available anymore, but I'll try to find something similar. I got this one. It's a funny story. Um, Ash, uh, Chanel has a gorgeous handbag, a houndstooth tweed handbag that I never got a chance to buy. It's so expensive right now and I'm not planning to buy, but it's something that I would love to have on my wardrobe. And when I found this blazer, it really gave me the same idea. Like the colorway is very similar, the style, the fabric, and I got really excited to get. And as soon as I tried the blazer, I just loved it so much. I think it's a beautiful fabric. The tweed is really good for fall. And the houndstooth is just amazing for fall. So definitely something to keep in mind. And the last blazer I'm styling, it's a corduroy blazer, which is, I think it screams fall and winter. I uh, can't really see myself wearing corduroy during the spring. Definitely not summer, because it's more of a warm fabric. But for fall, it's just so beautiful. That one is a little bit cropped. That was a gift, so I don't have a link for that. But I'll try to find something similar and link for you guys. So I think the black with the bronze buttons, it gives really like a luxurious feel. It's just so pretty. So a blazer, definitely something easy to wear, especially if you're still into your summer clothes, like a slip dress or something that has, you know, spaghetti straps. Something very summery, but you still want to wear during the fall. So you put a corduroy jo jacket and you're good to go. I think it's a beautiful piece to have. Now next, a leather jacket. I mean, it's not fall if we don't have a leather jacket, right? I mean, this one is such an investment. It's an All Saints jacket. It, it was very expensive, but I got mine on sale. So I think a leather jacket is an investment and if you are going to get one, get a good one because it would last you so many years and in my opinion as it wears it just looks even better and it feels even better. At first when I got this jacket it felt a little bit stiff even though the fabric is butter, buttery buttery soft. It did feel like the fit was not perfect but as I wore maybe two or three times it started to really accommodate my body and I was like so amazed. They do have other colors, which I think would be better for spring, for example. They have yellow, they have gray, they have white, uh, pink ones. Pink is not for me, but they do have other colors as well. But the black, I think, is just so good for fall. Of course, you can't wear this exactly during the transition, like not in the 70s because it will be too hot, but maybe um, 60 something, maybe even 50 something. It will keep you warm and it's going to be a beautiful outfit. You can definitely dress this up or down. You can wear it with denim, you can wear it with a nice dress. You can really play around and do so much with a leather jacket. Of course, if you're not into leather, there's so many ways of wearing the same idea, the same style being full leather. I'll try to find some and then I'll link for you guys. But I do think a leather jacket is just a no brainer. It's the easy piece that you should have you can put over a t-shirt, you can put over a dress, you can put over anything and you're just so put together and so beautiful. Love, love, love leather jackets. By the way, that jacket is very expensive, but it goes on sale all the time. So put on your wish list. I got mine from Nordstrom, but I know that Bloomingdale's and so many other retailers sell those jackets. And just put on your wish list, maybe wait for a sale or I'll try to find something that's in a good price and I'll link below so you guys can take advantage of it. And the last one but not least is a cashmere sweater. You have to have a cashmere sweater <laughs> for fall, winter, spring, any time of the year. Definitely not summer, but yeah, when it gets a little bit chilly, I think there's nothing better than cashmere to wear because it's just so comfortable, so cozy and delicious and it makes you look so nice. 
because it's really flattering like it's the kind of fabric that when you put on it just looks so so pretty this one i got from from quince and i think it's a gorgeous color uh, when i found this green i was so excited because i love green that's why and i have a lot of green sweaters but that one this shade was just so beautiful i am pairing with green pants as well these are from zara and i think they together look so cute so cashmere you know you do have to make sure that you're taking care of it you have to have a cashmere comb you have to um, wash it correctly so it doesn't get damaged but if you take care of it it will last you so long and it's definitely worth the price this one was actually not that expensive i think i paid maybe 60 dollars, maybe less than that i know it's still a lot of money for clothes but if you want to find quality clothes if you want them to last sometimes it is worth the investment so highly recommend i think it's a beautiful color beautiful piece and it's not too hot not too cold so perfect for that time of the year you can definitely wear that with something warmer when it gets cooler or you can wear something underneath to make sure that you're warm enough but i think it's just a very nice piece to have at this time of the year so those are the pieces that i picked for today i hope you guys liked i just wanted to bring just a few i am sharing 10 ideas today maybe 14 outfits because some of them i paired with other like different bottoms or tops but in general i would say 10 ideas which i think would be perfect for that time of the year but as it gets cooler i'm definitely going to bring some other ideas as well as the new Cezanne collection which i know everybody's so excited about i will be talking about some knits like heavier knits as well as jackets and coats and boots in the future but for now that's it that i wanted to share so i hope you guys liked this video if you did don't forget to give the thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so I would love to welcome you to this family. I really, really enjoy making these videos and I love the feedback. I read every single comment that you guys write to me and I just appreciate that. I wanted to thank you so much for it. And yeah, that's what all I wanted to share for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Have a fantastic day. Bye.